Math Grade 6, Week 1, Third Quarter. Reminders to students and other viewers. If there are errors that you noticed, kindly inform the teacher so that necessary actions will be administered. Please refrain from posting it on social media to avoid misunderstanding and do not let your rant be the subject of your posting. You can pause the video at any time to give you enough face as you learn the topics, do the learning tasks, or having a screenshot of important discussion. Be honest at all times. Drive from third quarter last or the learner activity sheet provided by DepEd San Pablo City. Solid figures. And yours truly, Sir Jerome D. Kapalad. Objective 1 visualizes and describes solid figures, cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using various concrete and pictorial models. Objective number 2 differentiates solid figures from plane figures. Good day, learners! Let us start by looking at the objects around you. For 30 seconds, I want you to write on a piece of paper all objects you see in your area right now. You can pause the video if you need more time. Your 30 seconds starts now. Here are the lists that you might find in your area. We have chairs, ball pen, cans, marbles, shoebox, and others. Answers not on the list but have length, width, and height are also correct. Objects with length, width, and height are called three-dimensional or solid figures. Let's look at some solid figures and identify them. We have a shoebox, a Rubik's Cube, a road traffic cone, cylindrical vase, and a ball. Buildings, furniture, appliances, toys, and even people themselves are also called solid objects. Let us examine this shoebox. It has length, width, and height. That's why it is called three-dimensional figures with the three dimensions, namely length, width, and height. Let's talk about the list of three-dimensional or solid figures. Prism. It is a solid figure whose two bases are congruent polygon and the other faces, called lateral faces, are parallelograms. Triangular prism. With triangle as its basis. Rectangular prism with rectangle as its basis. Cube. All faces are square. Pentagonal prism with pentagon as its basis. Hexagonal prism with hexagon as its basis. Pyramid. It is a space figure in which one face is called the base, and the other faces, called lateral faces, are triangles having a common vertex called the apex. These are the lateral faces, and then that is 
the apex. Triangular pyramid with triangle as its base. Rectangular pyramid with rectangle as its base. And pentagonal pyramid with pentagon as its base. Cylinder. A cylinder is a solid figure with two circular bases that are congruent and parallel. Cone. A cone is a solid figure with a circular base and all line segments from a circle meet at a vertex called the apex. Sphere. A sphere is a solid all points of which are of the same distance from the center. Let us have our practice one using this video. Kindly write on a paper all the objects that you will see. Then we will identify each one on which solid figure it belongs. If you want to play the video again, you may do so. Just rewind the video, then answer this. What solid figure does the pictorial model represent? Start first with the first one. Okay, you are correct. That is a cube. The second one. Okay, that is the sphere. The next set. Okay, very good. Rectangular prism. Next. Okay, you are correct again. Cylinder. Yes, you are right. That is a cone. And the last one. Okay, that is a pyramid. Lesson number two. Differentiating solid figures from plane figures. Let us identify the different shapes by answering this riddle for 5 seconds. You can pause the video if you need more time. Your 5 seconds starts after I read the riddle. I am a polygon. I have four sides of equal length. Who am I?
The answer is a square. You can form a square with just two kinds of me. I have angles that is always part of three. The answer is triangle. I am a type of common shape. The number of sides I have is four. I am not a square or a diamond. Instead, I am the shape of a door. The answer is rectangle. If you count my sides, it's five. Triangle is my top when you cut me into half. The answer is a pentagon. Okay, so let us list the shapes that we have identified a while ago using riddles. We have the square, triangle, rectangle, and pentagon. These shapes are called two-dimensional or commonly known as the plane figures. Real-life examples are the following. We have a sheet of pad paper, a circular fan, and the surfaces of cabinets. Let us examine this rectangle on top of a flat surface. Okay. So let us put this rectangle on top of this table. As you can see, the shape only have two dimensions, the length and the width. More so, it is flat. Let us now review our lesson one about solid figures. So let us identify these shapes. Triangular prism. You also have the cube, rectangular prism, a cone, and then this one is a pyramid. Let us now compare rectangle and rectangular prism on a flat surface so that you can be able to see the visual difference of the two. Let's put again this table. Then there is the rectangle. And then there's the rectangular prism. As you can see, rectangle does not have height, while prism does. This tells the difference between a plane and a solid figure. For our practice number two, I want you to supply the missing words on the following statements to determine the differences of plane and solid figures. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Your 30 seconds starts after I read the instruction. Supply the missing words to complete the sentence. Let us now reveal the answers. Plane figures have two dimensions. Solid figures have three dimensions. Plane figures have width and length, while solid figures have width, length, and height. 
Let us now have a recap of lesson 1 and lesson number 2. Solid figures have three dimensions, the width, the length, and the height. The examples are sphere, prism, pyramid, cone, cube, and cylinder. Plane figures have two dimensions, the width and the length. It is also flat. The examples are square, rectangle, triangle, circle, and others. These figures represent various number of objects we use and see every day. You may now start answering learning tasks 1 and 2. Just go back to this video if you miss something. Thank you and may you learn from this video. Thank you.